today we're talking all about faceless niches. If you're interested in starting a new YouTube channel, but you don't want to show your face on camera, there are plenty of niches that you can choose from. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the little bell for the notifications so you don't miss any of the videos that I post. So if you want to learn more about these niches, keep watching. One niche that you can try that you wouldn't have to show your face on camera is a cooking channel. So I've seen this many, many times. So you're aiming the camera down at your hands or the, your mixing bowl or on the stove, and you're showing how you can create these amazing dishes. And another thing that I've seen with these videos is sometimes they're really quick videos. So maybe it's a one or two minute video and it just speeds up the cooking. So it's a really quick how-to and it just shows you like the ingredients, how they're making it, and then the finished product. So that could be a fun niche to try. Another niche you could try would be showing a bunch of different types of street food. I mean, you don't even have to be on camera. You just show food when you get it, all the fun you know, sides that come with it. You can really do a lot with that. A series on Mexican street food, Italian street food, soul food, different things like that. So that could be really fun and that would also get people's taste buds going as well. Another exciting niche to try would be a sports niche. Now I love sports myself and so what would be exciting to do would be to have a niche where maybe you're at one point you're talking about the best slam dunks of all time or the best quarterback sacks of all time or maybe even you're giving a recap of the game the night before or something like that. And so I feel like you would get a lot of sports fans coming back and wanting to hear your commentary on the game and what you thought was kind of cool or something that you wanted to point out about the previous games that you've been watching. Another niche that you can try without showing your face would be a news niche. So I've seen this a few different ways, either talking about entertainment news, talking about politics and what's going on in the world. And also what I've seen a lot in 2020 was about stimulus packages and things like that. And, and kind of giving that update on everything that's going on, whether it's when we'll get back to normal, when we don't have to wear masks anymore, what's happening in certain parts of the country, when things are opening up, when things are closing down. It's like kind of giving like a brief recap of what's going on, maybe in just your area or even worldwide or across the country, whatever you choose. And so I think that would be something fun to do as well. Another niche to try would be a motivation niche. Creating those motivation videos, whether it's meditation. So with meditation, you could just have music that people can meditate to and just have like a nice picture or video in the background running. You can always buy those stock photos or stock videos if you need to. If it's motivation, then you can do a motivation voiceover as well. Or I've even seen where people are taking famous clips of the best motivational speakers and then creating like a little playlist with that. Another niche to try would be having a niche all about amazing vacation spots. You could do a voiceover over videos or photos and share what are the best places to go in that area? Where are the best places for food in that area? Are there any exciting street food vendors or activities in the area, what they could do? Just different fun things and different fun facts that you can find out about the area as well. That would be fun to do. And hey, there's so many different places that people could go on a vacation to. So you've got multiple videos that you can create with that niche. Another niche to try would be a gaming niche. A lot of these channels blow up because you don't even have to be on camera. You could either be talking about the best games to try or even show people while you're gaming, um, showing them the video, how to tackle certain parts of the game. There are so many different things that you could do with a gaming channel. So if you love gaming, that may be the niche for you. Another niche that you could try without showing your face would be a TV show review or movie review. And so you could do this, you could even pick out specific TV shows, maybe your favorite TV shows, and then you'll do a review of the show after, or maybe a reaction video. And so this could be a little different. So even though you're not showing your face, you have your commentary over the video of the TV show or the movie. I've seen this done specifically with 
Pretty Little Liars. So there were many YouTube channels that did not even show their face on camera. They were just showing their theories and what they thought. And so I thought that was super exciting. I watched many of those myself because I was hooked on that program and I wanted to know what other people's theories were as well. Another niche to try would be a music channel. So if you know how to play piano, guitar, violin, whatever it is, I mean, drumming, you really don't even need to show your face on camera. Just show you playing the music, explain to everyone how to, you know, play a specific song or play chords or scales, different things like that. And so you can always show people how to play the most popular songs, you know, on the radio right now. So that's something that really easy that you could do if you love playing instruments. And the last niche would be a health niche. And so there's so many things that you could do with this type of niche, but some ideas would be explaining to people the benefits of eating certain foods, maybe eating gluten-free or a plant-based diet, or even health benefits of exercising and what are the proper ways to exercise. And you can just show like stock photos or videos of that while you're doing your voiceover for that as well. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful in choosing a faceless niche to try out. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button down below. It definitely helps my channel. And until next time, I'll see you later.